I invoke the lady. Send these abominations back to Moore's realm. A knight's honor is more important than his lands and titles. Send in the peasants. Tonya, get ready to face Empire Scum! Send the peasants forward, so they may know the horrors we protect them from. The lowborn do not worry about things such as honor. We fight for the lady and our liege lords! I will sup from the holy grave and become the lady's chosen! Stay pure, fellow knights. The lady sees all. See the power of Britannia. Protect the crown. By the will of the Green Knight, we destroy these abominations. Does the Enchantress observe the battle? Come on, lads! Get those arrows aimed high! Pray to the lady, protect us. Spearman at arms. Yes, my lord. I am Karl Franz, and I was born into this world, just like you. A world of unceasing war and endless terrors, but with a nation of men at its heart, a bastion of hope and courage. The Empire. The Empire endures! <laughs> yes, the rights of war are ready. The Helden Hammer! It's an omen! Missiles will fly! Gods of the Empire! Protect us from these demon! Demon! <laughs> Back to the fields, fools! We fight for Sigma! Do not let the Emperor sully the hammer with these creatures! Scum! I left an offering to Shalya. She will protect us. Move that tower! I swear this is your Emperor. We have promised a place at Sigmar's side for doing this. I may spare your soul. Yes, bow before he who wields the Slayer of Kings. My God's call. Britonia, such a backwater. Say your words so I may rip them from this mortal plane and mutate them into sag flies to crush. Make your plea. It amuses me. Speak your words while I still deign to listen, mortal scum. Your cities tumble, your citizens quail. Britonia and its laughable patrons will be swept away as if the lake hand had been pulled out to sea. My master has planned for your kind. Is your offer? I am ever chosen. Malekith, 
All shall tremble. Old ones. I lust for slaughter! Dark of visage and dark of soul. No good can come from you. Shield of the Ever Queen! The poison in your soul will claim you in the end, Druki. It will be done! The leaf came to me. We will be victorious. The hatred in your heart is noxious, Druki. I tolerate you only because it aids Ivress. Swordmaster of Hoeth! Spearmen! Is this another one of your tricks, servant of Nagaroth? Your presence shames the Phoenix Court. Strike down the chaos things with trusty dwarven steel. Stout hearts are needed against the undead. I'll surround the enemy in dark rooms. Stand proud, Dawikin! Shield bearers, ho! Hey Noble Ones, welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking and before diving into all the whys and, and do's and don'ts and why did I choose these armies and when did I start collecting them and why these specifically and how do I play them and what's my favourite, I'd like to thank both the uh, Leisure Centre or should we say Board Game Cafe La Zucca Vuota here in Palermo because they're the ones that made this video possible considering the fact that they provided all of the scenario pieces to create uh, these settings so thank you so much, grazie Claudio and also big thanks to No Paint No Game Miniature Painting Studio because they painted half of my Bretonians and they also painted my High Elf Lothan Seaguard and I think a few others I don't remember but of course they really helped as well. You will find links in the description below. Okay, so my passion for Warhammer, for Games Workshop, started when I was 13 years old, and this is when I acquired my very first army, the High Elves, and they happen to be my favourite. Now, given what you see, because of the fact that this is the oldest army that I have, that I've kept, unfortunately, I've, I don't have the entirety, the army's not complete, in fact, I'm still expanding it, I'm still purchasing miniatures for my High Elf army to complete it to this day. I have recently ordered a group of 6th edition archers, because the, uh, the archers you saw, a fifth edition. Now they happen to be my favorite. They've got these scale vests and the helmets whereby sixth edition high elves archers they look like they're going to war in their bathing gown. But anyways for collection collection purposes I'd like to have both. Now I used to have techless. I don't have them anymore so I need to find them. I've recently ordered a mounted enchanter fully painted and I need 10 more Sword Masters of Hoeth, because I used to have 20, now I've only got 10. And uh, another thing I need is I really need 20 to 25 uh, Phoenix, ga Phoenix Guards. So, as I say, hands down, the High Elves are my favourite, but my second army that I got when I was 17 years old 
is the Bretonians and it's still very complete probably because by that time I finally figured out how to store things properly but it's a great army because it looks extremely medieval and even though I'm an elf lover that sounds kinky as you can see I have both the high elves and dark elves and eventually I will get a wood elven army still when I saw the Bretonians I was 17 I'm like oh my gosh look at the knights look at the archers in fact the Bretonians are probably one of my favorite my second favorite because they are very historically accurate they're a very believable late 14th century perhaps even early 15th century army and I love them for that okay so I love elves I love the medieval period but why do I have chaos and why the heck do I have dwarves for that matter but here's the thing game workshop you've got a problem with me like literally I will never step foot in Nottingham because if I do they will talk me into buying it meaning Nottingham including the forest like, look at this blood bowl wood elves I mean yeah I, I buy everything they, they make it's like it's it's a compulsion I'm addicted to games workshop I love their work I love their law in fact let me show you this you'd be like but do you play total war and of course I play total war but I mean let's talk about serious collecting here I've got for PlayStation 1 original shadow of the horned rat and dark omen classics so you know I'm into games workshop I love Warhammer I still play it to this day you're generally speaking we play 8th edition but sometimes we like playing 6th as well um, I've tried the uh, the night in the ninth age although I'm not a huge fan of the ninth age simply because I mean yeah it's, it's great people love it whatever I have, have fun occasionally play but I'm more into the law I like the law uh, of Warhammer so this is why I, I like playing with the official stuff basically now the reason why I've got so many armies even though the ones that I consider to be my armies are high elves and Bretonians only is because it's a dream that I had when I was 17 so when I was 17 I liked inviting my friends over and we were like hey let's play Warhammer but of course not all my friends owned Warhammer miniatures also because I mean they are quite pricey and it took me two decades to put together all of these armies mind you but you know lots of my friends didn't have those so what I liked doing and what my dream was and I believe that I have achieved it is whenever my friends come over and I'm like hey let's play Warhammer Fantasy and they're like oh yeah that would be great but I don't have an army I'm like really well check them out pick and choose so the idea is I have a big chaos army so I can play against it when my friends are here given I have occasionally played with my chaos army of course it's not like I never play them but generally speaking I have chaos so I can play against chaos the Empire is a little bit of a different story because my dad likes the Empire so I kind of got it for him he plays occasionally so sometimes we play and then of course I you know I like the, the cannons I like the knight so it's not like I don't like the Empire it's not really an army I would have got if it wasn't for him though a shooting oriented army both for the Dark Elves and the Empire because my Dark Elves I've got like something in the lines of 80 crossbowmen and for the Empire I've got 60 arquebusiers and even with my Bretonians 80 archers and I've got 100 men at arms even though I understand that from a, a sort of gameplay point of view you never really see men at arms used in tournaments but I don't care because I don't play tournaments well occasionally but generally speaking I play for fun and I play to recreate actual battles uh, even though they're fantasy battles I want them to look like battles so I, I basically never play like dragons and monsters and I always have like infantry lots of core and Warhammer Fantasy has got a rule that you have got to have at least 25% of your entire army made of core units uh, which are like the basic units like infantry for some people cavalry like Bretonians they have got uh, the Knights of the Realm are considered core whereas in generally speaking in other armies Knights are already special or rare units but when I play I go up to 50% core because I like having infantry when I play chaos the very few times that I uh, field chaos as the army I play I put something in the lines of 60 or 80 warriors of chaos on the field because I like seeing armies it doesn't matter that it's not effective in terms of maximizing the ratio of points per unit deployed I don't care I play for fun and I play to recreate these stories and see this is what you've got let's see if you can match it let's see if you can fight it and with my uh, high elves as you can see I had a lot of archers uh, even also because I mean high elf archers they you know they will wipe the floor with you I mean they're strong but see I mean seventh edition was really ridiculous I loved it because the high elves were OP uh, but you know even 8th edition archers they've got the plus one strength I think they've got their bows have got strength four so they're good for penetrating armor as well and uh, not as good as the aquibuses of the empire but still you know they they're a pain in the in the in the neck when they shoot you what about the dwarves well my dwarves you won't believe it but 
all the jewels I have already painted like that I paid 30 bucks like some of the miniatures I've got like sometimes people see my miniatures and they're like whoa you must have spent thousands and thousands of euros but I actually haven't I, I always found very good deals I mean yes some of my very well painted miniatures I did pay a lot of money when I when I say a lot of money I'm talking about like for example my standard bearer for chaos I paid him 40 euros him alone but that's because it's a freaking painting that standard battle standard I liked it I got it but the majority of the armies I've got I mean, the men at arms, I just bought them for nothing. And the majority of the knights I have, I didn't even pay. At the time, I had a vampire lord army and I exchanged it for the Bretonians. With a, uh, with a friend who was like, yeah, I have the Bretonians, they were cool, but I want the undead. And I'm like, it's great, I want the Bretonians. So boom, got it for free, just exchanged army. And in terms of the undead, I do have, I have started building up a Tomb Kings, uh, because they're my favorite. I prefer them over the um, vampire lords, uh, a Tomb Kings army. And I love the skeletons, it's got some beautiful, skeletons already also if you noticed my chaos has got no demons and that's for the same reasons why I don't have mm, dragons and monsters because I like troops and so you, and, and also my chaos it's mostly painted as undivided chaos because they've got like you know mortal chaos and undivided so they've got like steel but I do have a couple of units namely the uh, skull crushers of corn and a unit of warriors of chaos that I've considered to have the mark of corn and that's why they're they have been fully painted in in red. So that's the story behind my Warhammer armies. You asked me, come on Metatron, show us your armies. So I did and I hope that you enjoyed this video. But do you play Warhammer Fantasy or do you play Age of Sigma? I don't play Age of Sigma. I'm an old school guy but you know I like the miniatures and sometimes some of the miniatures I've got for my for my army are actually Age of Sigma just with Chaos I did this. They're Age of Sigma Slaves to Darkness adapted into Warhammer Fantasy so I changed the round bases into square bases and boom played with red regiments because that's the thing I like regiments and I like full-on army battles which is why I prefer Warhammer Fantasy over round shaped skirmish like looking Age of Sigma if you will uh, it's still a good game you know I don't hate it but I'm a fantasy boy I'm an old school boy but do you play uh, and if you could have an army which army would you choose well let me know in the comments below and I hope that you enjoyed this brief story and this showcase of all my armies thank you very much for watching number once and thank you again to Latsuka Water and to no paint, no gain for their help. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.